Well, good evening, folks. I'm here to tell you the greatest story that was ever told. Do you know who Jesus Christ is, my friends? Jesus Christ is the King of kings and Lord of lords. The Bible says there is no other name given under heaven among men whereby we must be saved. Only in the name of Jesus Christ can you have peace with God. Do you know when you're going to die, friend? Do you know when you're going to face God? The Bible says it is appointed unto man once to die and then the judgment. And the Bible says salvation is found in no other name. Muhammad is a liar. Only Jesus can save. Only Jesus. God bless. The Bible says whoever calls upon the name of the Lord Jesus shall be saved. Oh, if you confess with your mouth that Jesus Christ is Lord and you believe in your heart that God raised Jesus from the dead, you shall be saved. Are you prepared, my friends, to meet your maker? Your death has been determined. God knows the day of your death. You're going to be judged unless you run to Jesus. The Bible says, Behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. John the Baptist was a burning and a shining light. The kingdom of heaven is like a treasure hidden in the field. The kingdom of heaven is like one pearl of great price. Sell what you have and buy the kingdom of God. The Bible says, seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And all these things shall be added unto you. What are you anxious about tonight? What disturbs you, my friends? What is your problem? The Lord Jesus, he can solve it. The Lord Jesus can wash away your sin. Your biggest problem is your sin against God. Are you ready to face God, sir? It's not a joke. You're going to face God one day. The Bible says, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and you shall be saved. Don't lose your soul, man. You could be the wealthiest person out here. You could be the strongest person. But if you don't have Jesus Christ, all of your wealth means nothing. If you don't know Jesus Christ, all of your wealth will testify against you on the day of judgment. Oh, the Bible says riches do not profit in the day of wrath, but righteousness delivers from death. And you need the righteousness of Jesus. The Bible says, seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things will be added unto you. Are you right with God today, young man? Are you at peace with God? The Bible says, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and you shall be saved. Saved from what? Saved from your sin? Your wife doesn't know about your browsing history, but God knows. God sees your porn habit. God knows about your adultery. God knows about your sin. The Bible says, whoever conceals, whoever hides his sin will prosper. But whoever confesses and forsakes his sin shall find mercy. There is mercy in the name of Christ. God is going to judge you one day. You're going to stand before God. Make peace with the Lord today. The Bible says, call upon the Lord Jesus Christ and you shall be saved. It doesn't matter what you've done in life. The Lord can wash away your sin. The Bible says, whoever calls upon the name of the Lord Jesus shall be saved. There is salvation in no other name. There is no other name given under heaven among men whereby you must be saved. The Bible says, Jesus said, I am the bread of life. Why do you spend yourself for that which does not satisfy? Why do you spend yourself? Sin is like salt water. Salt water you think will quench your thirst at first, but that salt water only kills you with the very thirst you start to quench. The blood of Jesus alone can prepare you for the day of death. Only the blood of Christ can wash away your sin. God knows about your sin that your mother doesn't know about. God knows about this sin that your wife doesn't know about. God knows about your browsing history. You can delete your browsing history, but God sees your sin. The Bible says, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and you shall be saved. Her name is Evangelina. The Bible says, it is appointed unto men once to die and then the judgment. Are you right with God tonight? Are you right with God? Only through Jesus Christ is there salvation from your sin. The Bible says, whoever calls upon the name of the Lord Jesus Christ shall be saved. Whoever confesses with their mouth that Jesus is Lord and believes in their heart that God raised Jesus from the dead shall be saved. Oh, the Bible says, my friends, 
In Jesus Christ, there is neither male nor female, Jew nor Greek, bond nor free. You are all one in Christ Jesus. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes to the Father except through me. Muhammad is a liar. The Hindu gods are devils. Only Jesus Christ can save your soul. There is salvation in no other name. Only the blessed name of Jesus. Oh, Gabriel told Joseph, call the child Jesus, for he shall save his people from their sins. What about your sin? You can hide your sin from your wife. You can hide your sin from your mother. You can hide your sin from the police. But God sees your sin. I do. God bless, sir. You can hide your sin from your wife. You can delete your browsing history. But God has a record. God sees your sin. But the blood of Jesus washes away all sin to those who believe. Do you believe on the Lord Jesus Christ tonight? Have you confessed with your mouth that Jesus Christ is Lord? Do you believe in your heart that God raised Jesus from the dead? If so, then the kingdom of God is near to you. The Bible says it is appointed unto men once to die. You're going to die, my friend. And what happens when you die? You're going to face judgment. And only through Jesus Christ. Oh, God, God bless. Amen. If any man sins, there's an advocate for, with the Father, Jesus Christ the righteous. If we confess our sins, the Word teaches, He is faithful and just to forgive our sin and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. It doesn't it doesn't matter how much porn you've stained your brain with. It doesn't matter how much smut you stained your soul with. The blood of Christ can wash your sin clean. Your soul can be redeemed. Do you love Jesus tonight? Or do you, amen. Or do you love money? Or do you love yourself? We live in an age of narcissism where people, they get obsessed with their screens. The average American spends seven hours behind a screen. People want to take selfies all day, selfies, and, and lose their brain on TikTok. My friends, don't lose your soul. Jesus said, what does it profit a man if he gains the whole world and loses his soul? Don't lose your soul tonight. Oh, my dear friend, don't lose your soul. The Bible says, what can a man give in exchange for his soul? Will you sell your soul to the devil? Believe in Jesus tonight. The Bible says that Christ Jesus came into the world to save sinners. This is a faithful saying and worthy of all acceptance. That Christ Jesus came into the world to save sinners. And what's a sinner? The Bible says all have sinned. I'm not here preaching my own righteousness. I do not preach myself, but I proclaim Jesus Christ as Lord. And we are your servants for Jesus' sake. And we implore you, be reconciled to God tonight. Be at peace with God. And there's only one name by which you could have peace with God. It is the blessed name of Jesus Christ. The Bible says, Jesus is the way. You know, there are many ways in this world. Are you on the way to life? Either you're on the way to hell or the way to heaven. Everybody out here, son, everybody out here is on the way either to heaven or hell. Are you on the way to heaven or hell this evening? Where are you going? Where are you going? You going to heaven or hell? Only Jesus makes the difference. Only Jesus. Every person is on the path to heaven or hell. Every one of you will end up either in God's heavenly paradise or in the hell of fire. The Bible says in flaming fire, God will take vengeance on those who do not know him and obey his gospel. The Bible says... Well, as many as received him, to them gave he the power to become the sons of God. Have you received Christ? To as many as received him. Do you receive Jesus or do you reject Jesus? Do you think that God is a myth? Do you think that Jesus is a, is a fiction? My friend, Santa Claus is the myth. Jesus is the reason for the season. Jesus Christ died and rose from the dead. Jesus. Oh, in, in the name of Jesus, there is victory over death. You need not live in the fear of death. What, what, what makes you anxious? What makes you paranoid? My friends, you don't need Xanax. You don't need uh, Depakote. You don't need Prozac. You need Jesus. The Bible says that Christ came into the world to save sinners. You don't need those psychotropic meds. You don't need those antidepressants. You need the Holy Spirit. You need to be filled with God's Holy Spirit. The Bible says, do not be drunk with wine, where it is debauchery, but be filled with the Holy Spirit. The Bible declares, 
that God pours out his Holy Spirit to those who believe. In Romans chapter 5, the Bible says God pours out his love by the Holy Spirit. Perfect love casts out fear. What are you afraid of? What are you afraid of? Everyone fears the day of their death. But if you believe on the Lord, Jesus said, whoever believes on me shall never die. Do you believe this? John 11, 26, Jesus said, whoever believes on me shall never die. Yes, the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life. What gift do you want for Christmas? A Tesla? You want a new iPhone? You want a new Lego set? Oh, the greatest gift is the Son of God who was born. The Son of the, the begotten Son of God was adopted by Joseph. So we sons of Satan, we sons of the devil, could be adopted into the family of God. Do you love God tonight or do you love yourself? Are you too busy for the word of God? Are you too busy to hear the word of the gospel? The Bible says faith comes by hearing, and hearing by the word of Christ. For by grace are you saved. Whose grace? The grace of of Jesus Christ. The Bible says that God spared not his only son. God delivered up Jesus to be crucified. They took his hands and his feet and they nailed them. They nailed his hands. They nailed his feet. They whipped his back open. Jesus Christ spilled his blood to save sinners. The Bible says believe in the Lord Jesus Christ and you shall be saved. There is salvation in no other name. Only the name of Jesus. Don't be drunk tonight. Don't you repent of your drugs. Repent of your addiction. The Bible says Oh, the wages of sin is death. You've worked hard in your sin. You've worked long in your sin. And the devil will pay you your due. Oh, please. Oh, please be saved from his wages. Be saved from his work. The work of Christ, the work of God, is that you believe on Jesus whom he has sent. Who is Jesus? The Bible says Jesus is the Savior. Jesus is the King of kings and Lord of lords. Do you fear God tonight? Do you fear God? The fear of God is the beginning of wisdom. If you don't fear God, you don't have the beginning of wisdom. However, the Bible says, oh, the Bible says, if you believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, you shall be saved. Saved from what? Well, Gabriel told Joseph, call the child Jesus, for he shall save his people from their sins. See, you can hide your sins from your wife. You can hide your browsing history from your mother. But God sees your smut. God knows about your porn addiction. God knows about your drug addiction that your family doesn't know about. God knows about your alcohol addiction that your family doesn't know about. Believe on Jesus. Believe. He will save. The Bible says, repent. Except you repent, you shall all likewise perish. You see this fire truck? It reminds me of the fires of hell. And we're here tonight trying to snatch you from the fire. The Bible says, in flaming fire, God will take vengeance on those who do not know God or obey the gospel of Jesus Christ. And what is the gospel? Do you know what the word gospel means? It means good news. I have good news for you tonight. I have news that you can trust. You know, the world is full of bad news, right? You turn on the news, you hear stories of children, you hear stories of, of, of wicked things happening, you hear stories of war, you hear stories of kidnappings of little children. But the Bible says this is good news that you can take to the bank. The Bible says this is a faithful saying and worthy of all acceptance that Christ Jesus came into the world to save sinners. And what's a sinner? Every one of us. The Bible says there is none righteous. No, not one. There is none who does good. God looked down upon the children of man to see if there were any who did understand, any who did seek after God. He said there is none righteous. No, not one. Yeah, amen, amen. Seeing the crowds, Jesus went up on the mountain, and when he sat down, his disciples came to him. And he opened his mouth and taught them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they shall be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they shall be satisfied. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall receive mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Blessed are the peacemakers 
righteous, for they shall be called the sons of God. Blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Have you been blessed in Christ? In Acts chapter 20, verse 35, remember the words of our Lord Jesus, how he said, it is more blessed to give than to receive. Don't sell your body any longer. Don't sell your body and your soul to Satan. Trust in Jesus, ma'am. Men will use you and throw you like a piece of trash, but the Lord will value you. The Lord will not betray you. The Lord will not turn his back on you. Jesus can wash away that lust in your heart, sir, that lust of the flesh, that lust of the eyes, that pride of life that is not of the flesh the but is of the world and this world passes away in the lust thereof but he who does the will of God abides forever repent or you shall all likewise perish do you think those who died in 9-11 who were worse sinners than everyone who dwelled in New York I tell you except you repent you shall all likewise perish hell is a place of fire hell is a place of torture hell is a place of inescapable anguish I don't want anyone to go to hell. I wouldn't wish hell on my worst enemy. I would not wish hell on my worst enemy. And I have good news. Christ came into the world to redeem the souls of men. Christ is the Savior. It's not a joke, young man. The Bible says, be not deceived. God is not mocked. Whatever a man sows, that shall he also reap. If you sow to the flesh, you will reap destruction. If you live a life of stealing, of looking at porn, if you live a life of lies, do you expect to inherit the kingdom of heaven? God knows about your drunken binges. God knows about the browsing history your wife doesn't know about. God knows. You can delete your browsing history, son, but God sees your sin. God, the Bible says, his eyes are like a flame of fire. His eyes probe into the darkness. His eyes see what is hidden. You can hide your sin from your wife. You can hide your sin from your husband. You can hide your sin from your mother and father. But God sees your sin. However, there is mercy. Oh, there is mercy in the name of Jesus Christ. The Bible says God so loved this world. You know, I don't have to quote it to you. Why do you laugh? You should weep. The Bible says, Blessed are those who mourn, for they shall be comforted. But woe to you who laugh now. Woe to you who laugh now, for you shall mourn and weep. The Bible says, Come now, ye rich, weep and howl for the miseries that are to come upon you. Your riches are moth eaten. Your gold is rusted. You must trust in Jesus. The Bible says, Riches do not profit on the day of wrath, but righteousness delivers from death. Righteousness delivers from death. Whose righteousness? Your own? Do you think your church membership saves you? Do you think your pew warming can save you? Do you think that your baptism can wash away your sin? No, no. The Bible says, seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things shall be added to you. I have a question. Are you seeking God's righteousness? Are you seeking the kingdom of God? Or are you looking for love tonight? Or are you looking to get drunk tonight? Why are you out here tonight? Do you love Jesus, man? Or do you only love Jesus on Sunday? That's not how it works. You can't live like an angel on Sunday and live like the devil on Monday through Saturday and expect to go to God's kingdom. There's a special place in hell for hypocrites. Oh, there's a special place in hell for Pharisees. You can't live like the devil tonight and go to church tomorrow morning and think, God will welcome you with open arms to his heavenly bliss? No, you must repent. You must repent of these delusions. My friends, we live in an age of mass delusion. Men think they can marry men. Women think they can marry women. Well, that's, a, that's perversion. That's obscenity. The Bible says no homosexual will inherit the kingdom of God. The Bible says repent or you shall all likewise perish. The Bible says except you repent. You know what it means to repent? repent you got to change your mind man a man cannot marry a man before god that's perversion that's an abomination a woman cannot marry a woman that's sick that's perverse that's obscene that's a sin against god the bible says that righteousness exalts a nation but sin is a reproach to any people are you my friends seeking the righteousness of god tonight or what, what are you doing out here you looking for love you're looking to get drunk? You're looking to get high? God sees your sin. God knows. Make your peace with God tonight, young man. Young lady, the Bible says, call upon the Lord Jesus Christ, and you shall be saved. There is no other name. Only the name of Jesus can prepare you for the day of judgment. And judgment is coming. And judgment must begin at the household of God. 
You know, you might go to church, you might think you're a moral person, you might think you're a religious person, but God sees your sin. You can hide your sin from your wife, you can hide your sin from your mommy and daddy, but God knows your sin. Jesus came to save sinners. Do you have the humility tonight to recognize that you're a sinner? Are you humble enough to acknowledge that you need a savior? Or are you too proud, too proud? What has to happen before you'll be humble? What, cancer? A terrible car accident? What has to happen before you'll be humble? Look to Jesus, sir. Jesus can wash away your sin. Jesus can wash away your corruptions. My friends, you have a date with death. Do you know when you're going to die? Do you know when God will require your soul? The Bible says, And I saw the dead, small and great, stand before God, and the books were opened, and the dead were judged according to their works, according to what was written in the books. And another book was opened, which is the book of life. And whoever's name was not found written in the book of life was cast into the lake of fire. Don't be thrown into hellfire, amigo. Yummy Jesus, amiga. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and you shall be saved. The Bible says there is no other name. Muhammad can't save. Muhammad was a terrorist pedophile. The Hindu gods can't save. Only Jesus Christ can forgive your sin. Joe Biden's a liar. Donald Trump is a liar. Jesus Christ alone has the truth. The Bible says in Titus chapter 1 verse 2, God who promised eternal life, who cannot lie, promised before the world began, before the world was created, God promised everlasting life. The Bible says the gift of God is eternal life. What gift do you want for Christmas? A new Lego set, a new Tesla, a new iPhone, vanity of vanities. All is vanity, says the preacher. All of this, all of these toys will burn up. All these fancy trucks and fancy gold and fancy phones. You know, I call this a life support system, you know? The cell phone, this is a life support machine, man. Now, all this stuff is going to burn up. The lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life. Are you right with God? Are you prepared for the day of death? No one expects to die. No one wakes up in the morning expecting to die that day. Put your faith in Jesus, man. Put your faith. You say, oh, you make me afraid. You should be scared. The fear of God is the beginning of wisdom. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. The Bible says to depart from evil is understanding. Do you trust in Jesus or do you trust in your dollars? Do you trust in your Bitcoin? Do you trust in your 401k? Do you trust that Joe Biden's going to pay off your student loan? <laughs> oh, my friends, if your faith is in the government, if your faith is in the dollar, you are misplaced in your faith. Put your trust in he who cannot lie. Put your trust in Jesus Christ. He is the incarnate truth. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes to the Father except through Jesus, young man. Remember your Creator in the days of your youth before the evil days come. Ecclesiastes chapter 11, verse 1. Have you ever read the Bible through? Have you ever read the Bible cover to cover? Please read the Bible. You know what the word Bible stands for? Basic instructions before leaving earth. Bible means basic instructions before leaving earth. My friends, your soul will depart for judgment on the moment of your death. But if you trust in Jesus, oh, the Bible says, if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. If you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised Jesus from the dead, you shall be saved. There is salvation in no other name, for there is no other name given under heaven among men, whereby you must be saved. My friends, your government cannot bail you out. Your dollars cannot save you. The Bible says riches do not profit in the day of wrath, but righteousness delivers from death. And where is righteousness found? Oh, in the person of Jesus Christ. Jesus was tempted at every point, just like you're tempted. How much were you tempted to sin today, huh? How much were you tempted to lie today? The Lord Jesus can save you from your sin. The Lord Jesus can redeem you from your corruptions. He saved me. Jesus saved my rotten soul. 
The Lord Jesus forgave my filthy sin, and Jesus can save your soul too. The Bible says there's salvation in no other name, only the name of Jesus. You can hide your pornography from your wife. You can hide your smut from your mother. But God knows your sin. God sees your sin. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and you shall be saved. You can delete your browsing history, but God knows about the vile fantasies that you've entertained. God knows about the filth that you fantasized. The Lord Jesus alone has the power to give you a new soul, to give you a new heart. The Bible says you must be born again if you would see or enter the kingdom of God. Santa Claus ain't coming down, sir. Santa Claus is a lie. Santa Claus is an idol. With all due respect, Jesus Christ is the reason for the season. There is no other name given under heaven among men whereby you must be saved. When will you die? Do you know the day of your death? Are you prepared to die? Or you might say, well, I've got my coffin picked out. i got life insurance. None of that matters, my friends, if you don't have Jesus. If you don't have the blood of Christ applied to your soul, oh, then the devil will drag your soul to hell. Oh, by the chains of those addictions. What are you addicted to? Are you addicted to TV? Are you addicted to screen time? Are you addicted to meth? Are you addicted to fentanyl? Are you addicted to Hennessy? The Lord Jesus, he can break that chain, man. The Lord Jesus came to set the captive free. The Bible says where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. Are you free from your sinful addictions? Or are you a slave to the devil tonight? The Lord Jesus Christ came to preach liberty to the captives. He came to preach the acceptable year of the Lord's favor. Are you right with God? Are you right with God? You're going to die one day. Are you prepared to die? Are you prepared to meet the giver of life? It's not a joke. You can't run from God. You're going to face God one day. Only through Jesus. What's that supposed to mean? You okay, brother? You need help? But I can help you, man. The Lord Jesus can help you. If you got a delusion, if you got a psychosis, you don't need medication. You need Jesus. My friends, you need the gospel. The Bible says that Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. Oh, you need to be clothed in the righteousness of Christ, that the shame of your nakedness would not appear. The shame of your nakedness, my friends, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life. These are not of the Father. These are of the world. Oh, young man, be careful, young man. Oh, be careful, young people. Don't sell your soul to the devil tonight. Don't lose your soul. The Bible says, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and you shall be saved. Are you right with God today? Have you been washed in the blood of Jesus? The Bible says, amen. amen. There is no other name given under heaven among men whereby you must be saved. Have you been saved by the blood of the lamb? Have you been washed in the blood of Christ? Yes. Amen, amen. My friends, no drunkard will inherit the kingdom of God. Do not be deceived. God is not mocked. No drunkard will inherit the kingdom of God. Repent of those sinful plans you have. Repent of those sinful plans. Don't indulge in that sinful gratification. Believe on the Lord Jesus. Are you right with God today? Do you know where you're going? You going to heaven or hell? Everybody's on a road that ends up in heaven or hell. Jesus is the difference. Where will your soul, will your soul go to heaven or hell? Only Jesus makes the difference. The Bible says there is no other name except the name of Jesus that saves. The Bible says broad is the way that leads to destruction. And many are those who go on that way. But narrow is the way that leads to life. And few are those who find it. Jesus said fight. He said fight to enter the kingdom of heaven. Fight to enter through the narrow door. Are you on the right path? Are you in the straight and narrow, son? Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes to the Father except through me. There is no other name given under heaven among men. Only Jesus. Not Muhammad, who was a liar. Not the Buddha. Not the Hindu devil gods. Only Jesus Christ can prepare you to face God. The Bible says... Do not believe every spirit, for many false prophets have gone out into the world. There's lots of false teachers in this world who come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly they are ravenous wolves. You shall know them by their fruits. The Bible says you must be born again if you would see or enter the kingdom of God. You must be born of the Spirit. Marvel not that Jesus said, 
that which is born of the flesh is flesh and that which is born of the spirit is spirit you must be born again oh one man in the bible you know what he said he said god be merciful to me a sinner have you ever cried out to god for mercy have you ever cried to god for mercy today is the day of salvation now is the acceptable time do not delay let it not be said that the summer is over and the harvest is past and you are not saved. Make your peace with God tonight. Call upon the Lord. You don't know when you're going to die. Nobody knows the day of his death. Cry out to Jesus for mercy. Oh, the Bible says he is rich to all who call upon him. Whether you be Jew or Greek, African, Hispanic, Asian, European, American, the Lord is rich without discrimination, without partiality to all who call upon him whether you're jew or greek male or female bond or free we are all one in jesus christ you may feel free tonight but are you a slave to pornography are you a slave to alcohol are you a slave to drugs or you might feel free but your freedom is an illusion unless you believe on the lord jesus christ you're not truly free the bible says for freedom the son has made us free have you been set free? The Bible says where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. America does not give you freedom. Only the Bible gives you freedom. America does not give you freedom. Only Jesus Christ can. I serve my country, and I tell you this. Our Constitution is being stepped on. Our Constitution is trampled. But the Word of God will endure forever. The Bible is God's Word. The Bible tells us about Jesus, who lived a perfect life. Jesus, who lived in this world. Are you right with God tonight? The Bible says you must repent. You must repent if you would see the kingdom of God have you turned to Jesus in your heart are you right with God dear friends my dear friends do you believe on the Lord Jesus Christ he is the only name given under heaven whereby you must be saved you're gonna die one day it doesn't matter how drunk you are tonight it doesn't matter how wealthy you are tonight it doesn't matter how sinful you are the Lord can wash your soul clean the Lord can cleanse your wicked heart he washed my wicked heart and the Lord can save your sinful soul too the lust of your flesh and the lust of your eyes and the pride of your life it's not of the father it's of this world and guess what happens to this world it burns it burns you see all these fancy things and fancy buildings are all going to burn but the kingdom of god will endure forever and there's only one way you can be saved folks run to jesus broad is the way that leads to destruction and many are those who go on that way but narrow is the way that leads to life and few are those who find it fight fight to enter into the narrow door for many i tell you will seek to enter and not be able are you right with god amigo llame jesus amigo believe on the lord jesus christ and you shall be saved there is salvation in no other name my friend only the name of jesus only the name of the messiah the anointed one oh christ jesus was born into the world pilate asked jesus why were you born jesus said to testify to the truth jesus is the king of kings have you submitted to his sovereignty do you obey his government do you follow jesus sir jesus is the only way my friend he's the only way muhammad was a liar the hindu gods are devils only through jesus is their mercy and hope the bible says we look for the blessed hope the glorious appearing of our god and savior jesus christ my friends you know what freedom of speech looks like this is freedom of speech right here the bible says believe on the lord jesus christ and you shall be saved you'll be saved from your drunkenness you'll be saved from your pornography addiction you'll be saved from your drug addiction the lord jesus will break the chain the lord jesus will break that chain trust in him call upon him he is a friend who sticks closer than a brother oh the bible says greater love has no man than this that a man lay down his life for his friends and that's why jesus came into the world to lay down his life as a sacrifice for sin oh jesus willingly died on that cross jesus told peter put your sword into its scabbard do you not know that i can at this moment appeal to my father and he will send 12 legions of angels jesus could have called out angelic armies to destroy his enemies but jesus hung on that cross jesus hung on that cross and he was born again from the dead 
He revived, resurrected from the dead to save sinners. It doesn't matter what you've done in life. The Bible says, I did not come to call the, right, the righteous, but sinners to repentance. Those who are healthy do not need a doctor, but those who are sick. My friends, you're sick tonight. If you don't have Jesus, you're sick. You're sick in your soul. Jesus can touch your soul. Jesus can heal your mind. Jesus can give you hope. He can give you hope, young man. Amigo, Jesus, Jesus can set you free. Jesus can set you free from those chains of alcohol addiction, from those chains of pornography, from those chains of drug addiction, Jesus can break the chain. What's wrong with pornography? What's wrong with pornography? You have a conscience, right? You know what the Bible says? Whoever looks at a woman with lust has committed adultery with her in his heart already. That's what's wrong with it. Look, if you want to Enjoy the, if you want to enjoy the gift of God, marry a wife, sir. Well, how you got marry a wife. How you got I, Sex, huh? Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, through our marital union. God created this, sir. But pornography is an abuse of God's gift. Pornography is vile. Uh, pornography is perversion. Don't make a mistake about it. The Bible says, whoever looks at a woman with lust has committed adultery in her heart in your heart already. Believe on Jesus. You must be born again, sir. You need a new heart. The Bible says in Ezekiel 36, 26, I will remove your heart of stone and give you a heart of flesh. Sir? I love a woman, I don't love a man. No matter how hard no matter how hard your heart is, the Lord Jesus, He can give you a, a heart that is soft. He can give you a heart that is sensitive. The Bible says, I'm gonna keep preaching, sir. The Bible says, except you repent, you shall all likewise perish. Repent! For the kingdom of God is at hand. I can't hear you. I can't hear you, man. This is church right now, son. This is church, son, right here. The Bible says, confess with your mouth that Jesus Christ is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised Jesus from the dead and you shall be saved. It doesn't matter how dirty your browsing history is. God can wash away your sin. Hey, my friend, you're making a fool out of yourself. You don't want to do that. You want to be a fool for Christ. Yeah, I heard you the first time. Heard you the first time. Jesus, my friends. Do you know why God did that, young man? You know why God did that? All right. Excuse me, I didn't see any gray hair. Well, God bless you, sir. You know why God made that? God made that so we can reproduce, sir. God made... Pornography is not sex. Pornography is a cheap substitute, sir. Pornography is an illusion. Pornography is a corruption, sir. Pornography, my dear friend, is disgusting it's I don't even want to talk about it with children around but I'm telling you the Bible says except you repent you shall all likewise perish are you right with God tonight do you have peace with God only in the name of Jesus is there salvation from sin my friends God knows about your lies. God knows about your disobedience to your parents. God knows about that pornography habit you have. You can delete your browsing history, but only the Lord Jesus can wash away your sin. Only the blood of Jesus can wash away your sin. You can delete your browsing history, but God sees your sin. Jesus died on a cross of wood, friend. Jesus was nailed to a tree. All the blood... What's that? It's not a joke, sir. The Bible says God is not mocked. Do not be deceived. The Bible says the fear of God is the beginning of wisdom. Do you fear God? God gives you your headphones. God gives you your expensive coffee. God gives you your expensive car. Do you fear God? The Bible says the fear of God is the beginning of wisdom. The Bible says, except you repent. Have you believed on Jesus, sir? You're going to die one day, and when you die, you're going to face God. And the Bible says, there is salvation in no other name, for there is no other name given under heaven among the men, whereby you must be saved. The broad, broad is the way, wide is the way that leads to death and destruction. And many are those who go on that way. What's that, brother? What's that, brother? You cannot beat it to nobody. They got to accept it. Yeah, well, I'm not beating anybody, brother. Do I'm not have, beating anyone. Do you have my fingerprints on my DNA? I'm speaking the truth. Do you, you know what my Jesus said? On my DNA? Do you know why so you're responding? You know yes, I mean? you're convicted by the truth, my friend. You're convicted. The Bible says, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. I'm not a judge. I'm a witness. Judge me your sin. I'm not a judge. You don't find the whole Bible. That's a lie. Oh, man. Whoa, whoa. Take your issue up with God, sir. Take your issue with God. I'm telling you too. Don't shoot the messenger, man. Metaphorically speaking. 
Brother, your quarrel, your quarrel is with God, sir. Your quarrel is with God. Some of it is real, not all of it. God is real, sir. God is real. Do you know God blesses you? God gives you earbuds. God gives you your food. God gives you your life. Do you give glory to God? Yes, sir, Amen. The Bible says, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. Your life is a blessing. Your life is not a waste, my friends. But how many young people are wasting their life with drugs and alcohol addiction and pornography addiction, TikTok addiction? The Lord Jesus, he can give you a new heart. He can give you a new mind. You got free will. You know what happens, my friends, with free will? We, we choose hell every time. We choose hell. But the Bible says you must be born again. If you would see or enter the kingdom of God, you must be born of the Spirit. Are you born of God's Spirit? Are you carried along by His Spirit? Or are you carried along by the lust of your flesh? My friends, what motivates you tonight? What animates you? What are you looking for tonight? To get drunk? You looking for love? Are you looking to get high? Oh, my friends. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Only the Lord Jesus can prepare you for judgment. Only the blood of Jesus can wash away the stain of your sin. There is no other name given under heaven among men whereby you must be saved. Good to see you again. Good to see you again. Hey, I remember you from last time. Good to see you, man. The Bible says you must be born again. That's right. What's that? What's that? Hey, 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 hey. Fuck you, go somewhere else. Hey, 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 what? Go to fucking church, you fucking bullshit. Oh, Whoa, brother. Here. Nobody gives a fuck what you're saying. That, you fucking sir, church. there's a lot of people. Father, Father, forgive you. You don't know what you're doing. Don't give a fuck about you don't know what you're doing, don't man. Fuck about God. You think you can destroy that Bible? Go to fuck Do you know I have so many Bibles? I have a box full of Bibles right here. You throw one, it comes back, man. It regenerates. <laughs> it respawns. The Bible is God's word. The Bible says you must be born again. Oh, you know what? The, you know Vol, you know who Voltaire was. Voltaire was an atheist, and he said in a hundred years the Bible will be out of print. And guess what happened? His house, his house became a Bible publishing house. This man threw a Bible in the river, but there's a case of Bibles here. All right, well, that, that God forgive that man. God, he doesn't know what he's doing. Do you know what Jesus said on the cross? Father, forgive them. They know not what they're doing. I have a question. Do you know what you're doing tonight? Are you on the broad path that leads to hell? Or are you on the narrow road that leads to life? Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Hey, Brother Ruel, brother. Yeah. Hey, brother. Can you just... Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, just, Oh, wow. Thank you, thank okay, you. Yeah. The Bible says you must be born again. Have you been born of the Spirit, or are you born of your own lusts? My friends, we're all sinners. I'm not here to proclaim myself. I preach Jesus Christ as Lord, and we are your servants for Jesus' sake. My friends, we're here today to serve you the truth. The Bible says the Son of Man did not come to be served, but to serve and to give his life as a ransom for many. Jesus came to lay down his life for sinners. But you must admit you're a sinner. People don't want to be told they're sinners anymore. Everybody's gotten so soft. Everybody's gotten so effeminate in our culture. You must be born again. You must be washed from your sin. And only by the blood of Jesus can you be washed. Oh, my friends, yes, amen. The Bible says only in the name of Jesus is there salvation. Are you washed in the blood of Christ? Have you been saved by the blood of the Lamb? John the Baptist cried out, Behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. Oh, Jesus is the Savior. Have you been washed in his blood? Have you been saved by the blood of the Lamb? Jesus spilled his blood. He was tortured to death, and he came back from the dead. Do you know that no man took Jesus' life from him? Jesus laid down his life of his own accord. Jesus laid down his life. Why? For sinners. For sinners. Do you know, my friend, the Lord Jesus, he can save you? You know why? He saved me, amigo. He saved this rotten sinner. He saved this chief of sinners. That's how I know he can save you. The Bible says, remember your creator in the days of your youth. The Bible says, do not be deceived. The unrighteous will not inherit the kingdom of God. The unrighteous. My friends, are you righteous tonight? Are you filled with the Holy Spirit? Are you washed in the blood of Christ? What are you doing out here tonight? Are you looking to get drunk? Are you looking for love? My friends, the Bible says that his perfect love casts out fear. Only the love of Jesus can wash away your sin. Only the love of Jesus is pure and perfect and holy. Look to Jesus Christ.
Look to the rock from which you've been hewn. Jesus gives you your American freedom. Jesus gives you your wealth, your prosperity. Jesus gives you your luxuries. Do you praise God for your privilege? Do you honor God for your life and your prosperity? God gives you your life, your wealth. God gives you. You could have been born blind, my friends. You could have been born blind. Give praise to God tonight. Repent of your sin. Repent of your wicked way. The Bible says, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and you shall be saved. What's, what, what's your favorite Bible verse? What's my favorite Bible verse? No, oh, that's a hard question, actually. So many, so many. What's your favorite Bible verse? I'm not sure. I don't want to learn from you. I'll, I'll tell you. I'll tell you. I gotta go. I gotta go. First John, okay, First John 4.10. In this is love, not that we love God, but that he loved us and gave his son to be the propitiation for our sins. You know what that means? The Bible says it pleased God to crush Jesus. Jesus was crushed on the cross. That's what Christmas is all about. Christmas is not about getting a new iPhone. Christmas is about knowing Jesus. Christmas is not about getting a new car. Christmas is not about getting a new Lego set. Christmas is about the Son of God being born into the world to save sinners. Oh, the Bible says that Jesus is the Savior of the world. Behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. Jesus Christ. Is that TikTok? You know, TikTok is Chinese spyware, right? <laughs> TikTok is Chinese spyware, folks. Oh, please. Don't turn your brain to mush through constant use of screens. Oh, believe on the Lord. Believe on the Lord. Don't lose your mind. Don't lose your soul. Jesus said, what does it profit a man if he gets the whole world and loses his soul? Or what can a man give in exchange for his soul? What can you give in exchange for your soul, friend? Are you right with God tonight? Are you at peace with God? You know, God gives you your life. God gives you your prosperity, your luxury. God gives you your freedoms. Do you give glory to God? Do you praise your maker? Every one of us will face God for judgment. Are you prepared to face God? Nobody wakes up expecting to die that day, right? Does anybody ever plan to die? Do you ever put it down on the calendar? Believe on Jesus, sir, and be prepared to face God. The Bible says the heart of the wise is in the house of mourning, and the heart of fools is in the house of feasting. Better is the day of one's death you know, than the what day. God wants from you. Yes, sir. Help that his sons have a place to lay their head. Remember what he said? The son of man has nowhere to lay his okay. head. Okay. So you need a place to lay your head? I'll help you. I'm already a believer. Okay. Uh, I need a place, but a place where my brothers are at. There's a have haven for hope, my friend. Yes, our church provides this thing. Our church, yes, we, that's what we do. That's what we do. The Bible says the Son of Man had no place to lay his head. I'm, I'm here to help you, man. Don't walk away. The Bible says the Son of Man had no place to lay his head. You know, people, you know, most, many homeless people choose to be homeless. Why? Because of their drugs. They don't want responsibility. My friends... Do you believe on Jesus tonight? Jesus said, where I am going, I am going to prepare a place for you. That where I am, hey, you may, yeah, yes, sir. Hey, yes. Somebody, somebody threw the Bibles on. Yeah, threw in the river. Oh. He's a, a hipster. He looks like a, he, he's a, he's a, he's a, he's a hipster looking guy. He's got a beard. He's got like these stud earrings. That's all right. I forgive him. Yeah, he threw the he threw the Bible in the river, man. Can you believe that? No, 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 sir. God will God will judge him. You don't want to do that. You don't want to do that. God will judge him, amigo. Brother, brother, the Lord. The Bible says the angel of the Lord encamps around those who fear him. God's angels can exact punishment worse than any man. God's angels will judge. The Bible says you must repent if you would see the kingdom of God. What's that? <laughs> oh man I, 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 we forgive we for, Jesus said father forgive them they know not what they do what, that's, that's alright that's alright my friends the Bible says love one another as I have loved you the Bible says forgive one another as you have been forgiven in Jesus Christ are hidden all the treasures of wisdom and knowledge in Jesus Christ all wisdom and knowledge is found if you know Jesus Christ, then you have wisdom, then you have knowledge. But if you don't know Jesus Christ, then you'll lose your soul. And the Bible says, what does it profit if you gain the whole world and lose your soul? Don't lose your soul tonight. What are you out here doing? To get drunk? Are you looking for love tonight? 
The Bible says his love endures forever. His love. Men will betray you. Men will use you and throw you. But the love of God endures forever. The word of God endures forever. The Bible says man does not live by bread alone, but we live by every word of God. You know that? Your next breath is God's grace. Your next heartbeat is God's mercy. By God's mercy, you stand. By God's grace, you walk. Do you praise God? Do you love Jesus? The Bible says, in this is love. Not that we love God, but that he loved us and gave his son to be the propitiation for our sins. Jesus died on that cross. That's what Christmas is all about. Jesus being born to die. Do you know that's what Christmas is about? Jesus was born to die. Why did Jesus die? Do you know why, ma'am? You know why? To save sinners. And what's a sinner? We're all sinners, sir. He what? died because they crucified him because they didn't believe yes, what sir. he said. But that was his plan. It was his plan to die. The Bible says that God foreordained that Christ be crucified. Acts chapter 2, verse 48, I believe it is. Jesus was ordained by God to be crucified. Isaiah chapter 53 teaches us that. He was bruised for our iniquities, and by his stripes we are healed. He was crushed for our sins. Was he crucified for you? Do you believe his word, or do you reject Jesus? Do you choose the bottle? Do you choose your drugs? Do you choose pornography? Do you choose the love of money? Or do you choose God tonight? Do you believe on the Lord Jesus? Or do you choose that liar Muhammad? Or do you choose some false prophet like Buddha? believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. The Bible says there is no other name. You know Jesus' hands. Oh, amen. My man, uh, sir, but know this. Jesus is the only name. Mary cannot save you. Joseph cannot save you. Peter cannot hear your prayers and answer them. Only Jesus Christ came into the world to save sinners. Oh, the Bible says men hate the light. Men hate the light and will not come to the light. They said of Jesus that he was not in his right mind. You know why? Jesus said, the world hates me because I testify about it that its works are evil. John chapter 7, verse 7. Do you love Jesus or do you love your sin? Do you love your sin? Do you love sin or do you love Jesus? I love Jesus. I hope so. I'm Don't. Here for the ride, man. He said I can't get drunk. God is not mocked, brother. God is not mocked. Do not be deceived, my friends. Jesus said in John 7, verse 7, the world hates me because I testify about it that its works are evil. You know what's evil, my friends? Looking at pornography is evil. You know what's evil? Getting drunk tonight is evil. Committing adultery tonight. Committing fornication tonight. That's a sin against God. But Jesus can break that chain. Whatever that chain that is that's binding you, Jesus can break that addiction. He can break that power of sin. Jesus came to set captives free. But if you do not believe on the Lord, Oh, the devil will drag your soul to hell by those chains. Oh, those chains of pornography, of alcohol addiction, of drug addiction. The devil will drag your soul to hell unless you believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. The Bible says, Jesus said, I am the light of this world. Now, do you love the light or do you love the darkness? Do you love the truth or do you love lies? We live in an age when people think that a man can marry a man. That's crazy, my friends. And people think Christians are crazy. People think a woman can marry a woman. That's sick, man. That's called perversion. That's called obscenity. The Bible calls it an abomination. You know what abomination means? God hates homosexuality. God hates homosexuality. It is a perversion of God's order. The Bible says... We must repent. America is doomed unless we believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. Are you a Christian tonight? Do you love God? Will you be in church tomorrow or will you be hung over tomorrow morning? Will you be in church tomorrow morning or will you be bowed over the toilet bowl tomorrow morning? Will you be right with God tonight? Will you be on your knees praying tomorrow morning or will you be on your knees vomiting in a toilet bowl tomorrow morning? My friends, you must be born of the Spirit. You must be born again. What are you here out for tonight? Are you looking to get drunk? Are you looking for love? Are you looking to get high? You must repent. The Bible says God will judge the world. Yes, this is not a judgment-free zone. If you want a judgment-free zone, go to Planet Fitness. 
The Bible says that Christ came to cast fire on the earth. The Bible says, I did not come to bring peace, but a sword. Jesus came to bring a sword. You know what his word is? Sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the dividing asunder of the soul and spirit and of the joints and marrow, and is a discerner of the thoughts and the intents of the heart. God's word pierces our hearts. God's word mortally wounded my heart. Do you believe on Jesus? Do you follow God? Or do you follow your lusts? Are you going to follow your lust tonight, sir? Yeah. yeah. You need to get right with God. You need to get right with God. The Bible says, except you repent, you shall all perish. I don't want you to go to hell. I don't wish hell on my worst enemy. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes to the Father except through me. There is a way that seems right to a man, but the end is the way of death. Are you on the path of death tonight? Oh, run to Jesus. Run to Jesus. The Bible says the name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous runs into it and is safe. Are you hidden in the name of Jesus? Do you love Jesus tonight? Do you take shelter under his wing? Do you take refuge in his name? Do you believe on Jesus tonight? The Bible says, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and you shall be saved. Saved from what? Saved from your sin, from your pornography, saved from your alcohol addiction. It's not a joke. It's not a joke, my friends. The Bible says, by the sadness of the countenance, the heart is made better. My friends, are you right with God tonight? You can hide what you're going to do tonight from your mother. You know, your mother might not find out about what you do tonight, but God sees your sin. You can hide your browsing history from your wife, but God knows your sin. You need Jesus. You need Christ. Oh, Jesus washed away my sin. Jesus healed my soul. Repent. Don't go do that dirty deed tonight. Don't do that sin tonight. Believe on Jesus. Trust in the Lord. The Bible says if we confess our sins, He is faithful and just to forgive our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. The blood of Jesus can wash away all sin. You know what the Bible says? Jesus did not come to call the righteous, but sinners. Oh, we have so much money in this country, you know? So much money, people don't feel their need. They do not see their need. You know, just last month I was preaching the gospel in Nepal and in India. And when I preach on the streets, hundreds of people gather. But I preach here, and everybody's so rich and so distracted with their cell phones and their plans to get drunk tonight that they can't listen to the Word of God. But the Bible says faith comes by hearing, and hearing by the Word of Christ. Do you hear His voice? Jesus said, My sheep, they hear my voice, and they follow me. And I give unto them eternal life, and no man will pluck them out of my hand. Are you following Jesus tonight? I am. Or are you following your lusts? Are you following your lust, your carnal appetites? The Bible says, Do not be deceived. Young lady, God is not mocked. Do not mock God. Do not joke about your soul. It's a joke now until you're on your deathbed. You might not have the luxury of a deathbed. How many people wake up that day thinking they're with great power, thinking that they're okay, and they die in a car crash? You don't know when you're going to die. Make your peace with God tonight. Believe on Jesus tonight. You don't know when you're going to die. You don't know. You know how many people are dying of mitocardius these days from an unknown, mysterious cause? Believe on Jesus, my friends. The Bible says it's appointed unto men once to die and then the judgment. Jesus said, you must repent. Are you right with God tonight? Are you fearing God? The fear of God is the beginning of wisdom. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. Proverbs 1, 7 says, do you love God tonight? Do you, you know God gives you your life? You could have been born blind. You could have been born a cripple. But God gives you able body. Do you honor God for your life? Do you thank God for your cell phone, for your nice clothes? Do you thank God for your car, for your family? God gives you your life and your breath. The Bible says, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and you shall be saved. There is salvation in no other name, only the name of Jesus. Muhammad cannot save you, only Jesus can. Are you right with God tonight? Jesus said, I am the light of this world. Do you love the darkness? Are you a child of the night or a child of the day? Are you a child of, what'd you say? What'd you say? That's called Stockholm Syndrome. You know what Stockholm Syndrome is? People, when they say, Hail Satan. People say, Hail Satan. They love their captor. 
Can I get some water? Babu, Babu, some water. The Bible says, Jesus said, I am the bread of life. Hunger and thirst for righteousness. Thank you, sir. How are you doing, man? I did get a hug, bro, because it hurts me seeing that everyone just walks by, not even Thank you, realizing man. what you're talking about. Yeah, man. This is our whole life, our whole existence, and everyone just walking by. I, it's just, it's, it's a